And uh, Rajesh, at the beginning of the class, you did mention uh, something about like uh, SAS. So wh what does that particularly mean? SAS means, uh, Atul, you want to take it up, this question? Sorry, which one? Say that again. SA SAS, SAS. SAS. Oh, software as a service. Yes. OK, so OK. So this uh, this uh, data doc server where the storage is happening and the place where you will create alerts and dashboard that is managed by data doc itself. You don't have to do anything. It's like uh, you just consume that. Forget about the uh, uh, how to set up a server, how to upgrade a server, how to take care of the data availability and all. Forget about it. Just focus on monitoring, enabling the monitoring and then alerting and dashboard. So this data log is a software as a service based applications. Is this service in AWS cloud, Rajesh? Uh, I mean, recent projects we had concern where uh, whether to use data log or not, because the main concern was the amount of data which is pushed out to the internet pipe. Um, I mean, if the services being monitored are in AWS and mm, that's data log is concern, yeah. So here, yeah. uh, uh, AWS hates that if someone is taking the data out of AWS, that is a problem. So if you if you enable the data log integration with AWS cloud, you can uh, data log will fetch all the info, logs, metrics, and all from the cloud watch, but that will be paid for AWS. So that is one of the concerns. Right, right. So example, you have AWS connectivity and you have your internet connection. So when you Activate data dog agent. It will use the direct connectivity with AWS. It won't go out internet and come back again. Is that yeah. the right understanding? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But there is a cost to integration, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, okay. Rajesh. Okay. So now what I did, uh, uh, I did uh, enable the metrics collections through agent, and so that I am getting that lots of metrics here over a period of time. You'll get it. And here you can see all this stuff. So click on it. This is the machine which I'm monitoring. And metrics you're getting. So do I have a processes? So process monitoring is not enabled enabled by default actually. So what do we do in this case? So there is one entry in the configuration file. So yeah, any changes you want to modify in the Datadog agent, you'll have to fetch this file, which is Datadog. Data of YAML. Always remember that this is the configuration file for the agent. So here, now there is one option which is called process configurations. So process config config. Oh, what I did? Process config. Uh, enter. Uh, process. Uh, huh. so, so you have to enable this one this monitoring this. so you have to let me uncomment this and here space is very important and uh, one Four and make it true. So here process config, process collection enable true, all this thing. So now save it. Done. So this is the changes you have to do. Now this kind of changes I'm showing you right right now, but this documentation is already created. So if you have some time and if you feel lost, you can check this all documentation here. For example, data doc process monitoring so something like that and here this spelling is to HD here data dog right and spelling mistake I'm doing a lot huh so here you see that uh, this is the one how to enable like process monitoring this you have all the instruction step by step so like that you will see that everything so yeah, I enable it. So for that, you have to restart the data dog agent. So system CTL. Uh, restart data dog hyphen agent. So 
I just restarted this and within a few seconds you should be able to see that process monitoring here so just wait for it it will come automatically you have to wait for 60 seconds up to so now now containers monitoring so do we have any containers running let me check if you have a docker running or not so docker yes no docker is not running so let me install the docker this command i'm assuming it will install the docker and let's see Meanwhile, I'll just verify the process monitoring enabled or not. So, infrastructure list and Jenkins processes. Uh, now, see, now it's monitoring. So, every process running in the host machine, you can see their PID, CPU, memories, and all stuff like that. Now, process monitoring is enabled. Now, next thing is container monitoring. So, for container monitoring, uh, first I am doing the Docker installation then start the docker enable the docker and after that start the docker okay this is the stuff so now docker is running right now what to do docker run hyphen itd ubuntu q containers brandly i'm running it just for so you can monitor that container one container two containers three containers i got it done docker ps see the container is running so now what to do so how to enable this docker now so this docker uh, enabling you have to do through the uh, docker monitoring so how do you do that so any integration monitoring if you want to do that so you have to do it from integration here this place that means apart from the infrastructure anything else you want to monitor that's called integration i repeat apart from um, cpu ram matrix and disk anything else you want to monitor like a docker apache mysql or equal ms equal jenkins or whatever it is you have to go for integration enable this okay so right now i you see that there's no integration available in, i installed it apache is detected because running from the last session and SSH. So, which one we are focusing? Docker. Here I'll click on it and I will say where is the uh, install options? Uh, here, install integration. This is a one time activity. After that, you don't have to do that. And after that, you have to do this one. Uh, do I have a Docker installed running? Yes. Did you give the DD agent the uh, added in the group called Docker? So, what is the DD agent? So DD agent is the user which is running your beta dog agent. Okay, see here. This is the user. So this is the user which is running your data dog agent. So you have to give the permissions to him. So I just run it and give it. And finally, you have to do this. So where exactly this file pan dot d and da da da. So let me show you. Go to etc data dog pan dot d and here. You have to, we have so many directories, right? We have to go to docker.d. And here you see this file. The file is, this document is a little outdated. Then you can modify. So this file, you have to copy and uh, remove the default. So the moment you remove the default, automatically it will be done. Now check this file, understand this. Do I need to modify? So yes, I need to modify. So you have to modify hyphen URL, something like this. So one space and there is a save it. Then system CGM restart and uh, system CTL restart what exactly? Uh, data dog, right? Data dog hyphen agent. Now, how do I verify the Docker is enabled or not? So this I did all the steps. Okay, uh, you have a documentation for also all this stuff, and this work is done. So I'll just check data doc uh, agent status. Remove this command. Enter. Now look for that Docker is there or not? So Docker, 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 Docker. 
Mm. I'm just looking from here to see. It's enabled. This is okay, means okay. So can I see that container now? So go to the here infrastructure part and see the containers. And three containers I'm doing. See, three containers you have it. You can match this Docker. Docker PS. See these three containers you are monitoring right now. Are you understanding all of you? Yes, Rajesh. Okay, so now how do we uh, enable the integration, some other integrations? So one integration more I would like to show you. That's called Apache. So you need to understand the concept of it. So this is the server where your Apache is running. Okay. This is Apache is running. And this is a Datadog agent which is running in your machine. This is a Datadog website, which is a SaaS based software. I mean, applications. So metrics has to be there. So you will modify, you will uh, browse that notices. So how this Datadog agent will capture the Apache metrics? So if you understand Apache, Apache don't uh, expose the metrics by default. So what happens? So Apache can be enabled to expose at the metrics at certain endpoint, port number or some path. And you can inform Datadog agent, hey Datadog agent, take the matrices from here and then send to Datadog. This is can be done. So now the question is, first thing, you install Apache. Second thing, expose the matrix at, at certain endpoint. Third thing, which you have to inform Datadog agent to collect the matrix and store at Datadog. So actually, you know what? Apache I installed in the morning itself. So I had a Ansible session. So I installed the Apache here, you can see that. So this is also done. Now, how to enable this part? I need to do that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to follow some documents because I need it. So that way I'll not make any, any mistakes. So here I go to the data. In, uh, my blog website type data doc okay, and Apache. Simple. So here it says, Hey, how to enable Apache uh, Tomcat? This Tomcat, huh, this is the one. How to install and configure uh, data doc integrations with Apache HTTP. So, this is the right tutorial. Now, I'll go back here. These are the metrics you are going to collect it. So did you install the agent? Yes. Did you install the Apache? Yes. Did you enable the integration? So I will do that right now. So go to Datadog and go to integrations. Yep. <clears throat> this is Apache automatically detected because, because of process monitoring. And now install the integration. This is also done. And uh, Please read this, don't ignore it. All these are the steps. So the first step is, uh, did you install the agent? Yes. Did you enable the mod status? No. This I'm doing it now. So how to do that? That's a, uh, that's a question. So, so let me do that. So here, and this is the important. Okay, so can I go ahead? Yeah. Now, what is a mod status uh, module you have to read? This basically, if you don't enable it, Apache will not ex expose the matrix at the end point. So you have to do that. So this is for CentOS. This is for Ubuntu. So can I check this? I'll read this. Do you have this file? Let me see. This Ubuntu machine. Yes, I'm having. And can you check that whether mod status is enabled or not? So already enabled. After that, go to this file. Okay. It's Ubuntu. Enter. And do the changes. As per the image, look at this. Require all granted. So here. Uh, require all granted and I'll just save this 
I delete this one and after that you have to restart the agent. So restart the agent. Thanks for watching. Want to study further? Join our training programs today.